Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. And here we are on Sunday the 23rd of April 2017 for another recap for the simulation releases for the week that was and we are going to get started this week with one that just managed to miss the Nova Wrap last week uh, but it is uh, it did sort of come out just as I was prepping the last week's video but it is here now and I am of course talking about Airplane Heaven's most recent release with their Curtis SB2C Helldiver. So this aircraft is a really interesting little aircraft um, and was sort of like created to sort of, you know, supplement and replace, replace um, uh, sort of other dive bombing aircraft as it was sort of seen as the primary way of attacking um, sort of a, a, a variety of different targets by the Navy. Uh, and of course, you know, there was, the, there was of course the, the Dauntless uh, was the mainstay of the US Navy at the time. The Helldiver sort of aimed to sort of actually make it uh, be able to carry a bigger bomb load of further range and be, on, be more armoured and more survivable. Um, the early models didn't do so well on that. It wasn't until the later variants, the, th the uh, Dash 3 and 4 variants, where they introduced the right twin cyclone engine, um, where it really got the power and the performance that it actually needed to actually be able to do the task it was designed for. And of course, this is the versions of that Aeroplane Haven't have modelled. Now, Aeroplane Haven't uh, is... I'll be... I'll, look, I'll be honest, they're one of my favourite developers, they really are. Um, they provide a really good balance between very high fidelity, very detailed simulation, um, while still simultaneously managing something to, that is still very accessible, even for pilots who are sort of a bit newer to simulation and sort of maybe don't want 100% in depth. Um, so that's a really good thing. It's a really good balance um, that Aeroplane Heaven always strike that I feel. So and this this title and this title this this release is no different. Um, so it does give you two completely different models and flight models for the um, three uh, for the Dash three and the Dash four variants with a beautifully, amazingly set up sound set um, for the right Cyclone engine um, with uh, beautiful simulations of you know, the aircraft and the startup sequences including cold and dark startup options as well um, as well as a very, very um, well detailed dive flap um, and flap operations which is a key thing for a dive bomber, it really is and very important uh, along with of course a working tail hook for your carrier landing so you can actually take it onto a carrier um, as well as a whole heap of unique um, animations and beautiful, as I said, beautiful authentic sound set for this one real world and uh, style ch checklists a uh, full manual, full paint kit, um, and some really, really just amazing looking folding wing processes. The, there's a lot that goes into folding the wings on carrier aircraft. This is, you know, in the, the you know, non swing wing aircraft. Um, and it's really difficult to actually nail it, especially in a sim. And it's really great to see Airplane Heaven really giving a crack and getting, from the look of things, getting this one right. Uh, now, interesting enough, as I said, this one did come out um, uh, sort of last week, um, sort of right at the tail, right when I was prepping the Nova app. Now, there was an issue with the first version that went to market um, for users of DX9, uh, which is sort of the considered the stock standard for people who use uh, FSX. Uh, that has now been corrected. A patch has been released. Um, so if you have already got it, go and grab uh, the updated installer for that one. Um, but if you haven't get it, got it yet, don't worry, it is fully now compatible with the full ESP range at DX9. 10 and 11 uh, so fully compatible across the range uh, available now either direct from the Aeroplane Heaven store um, or from your favorite flight sim retailer now now interestingly enough there is a pretty cool offer going on now um, until the end of April so you've still got a few days from when this uh, video goes to air where you can claim this offer uh, where Aeroplane Heaven if you buy it direct from the Aeroplane Heaven store you do get a buy one get one free kind of deal um, you get the SB2C Helldiver and you also get the Grumman F3F um, sort of interwar bomber, uh, biplane bomber, one of the last, one of the last carry-borne biplane bombers um, that saw US Navy service. You get that bundled for free. So yeah, not a bad two-for-one deal for another great Aeroplane Heaven product. But yes, that deal is exclusive to the Aeroplane he uh, Heaven website, uh, web store. So uh, don't forget to grab the links in the descri description down below and grab this uh, behemoth um, of World War II era aviation. So it's available now.
So in other aircraft releases uh, for this week, we saw a release of a, f a freeware release. Um, this one's come to us from um, Flossim uh, community member Massimo Grassi. Uh, now, as far as I know, I can see this one's are currently only available over the, li over the AvSim library. Um, he may release it on other platforms uh, eventually as well. But this is the Fiat G91 Yankee. So the Fiat G91 was a um, uh, indigenous Italian design aircraft using a, a British engine. Um, um, sort of one of those early sort of 1960s generation um, jet fighters when the world was still sort of finding its way with uh, with jet fighters, you know, throughout the, the 50s and 60s. And um, but one of the things that was always noted with the G91 was that it was fairly underpowered and it couldn't really carry as much um, payload as it was hoped for. The G91Y was a development um, funded by um, f funded by Italian developer Fiat and later Air, um, Air Italia. Um, when uh, from a r Italian Air Force requirement to actually make it more powerful, it can actually you know do the things it was supposed to do. So what they did is they took the airframe, the basic airframe of the G91 trainer, and instead of and they took out the single turbojet engine that was in there and then replaced it with two afterburning um, J85 turbojets. Um, did a whole heap of structural mod uh, modifications to make it lighter and you know just uh, give it a greater fuel capacity. A lot more, it become a lot more maneuverable and just overall became the fighter it probably always should have been. Um, now this is one of those ones that's never sort of really seen the light of day in FSX much, um, but it's now come to us uh, from this. As I said, this amazing freeware developer for. It, you know, beautiful looking quality. This aircraft is looking absolutely amazing. It really is, as I said, and it's it's a really high quality piece of freeware that's been released to us. Um, now this one is fully compatible with both FSX and P3D, uh, looking amazing. So yeah, and as it, you can't beat the price. You really can't. And I like oddities like this. I, I like odd type aircraft and you know the G91Y would go on to serve with the Italian Air Force well into the 1990s um, in its strike role and its strike and reconnaissance role. So you know it, it's it's one of those aircraft that was sort of you know it's, it's a bit it's not as glamorous it doesn't look as pretty as some of those other you know, aircraft of the of the era and, and of modern times but it still is an amazing aircraft and some great history with it um, and yeah as I said you can't beat the price of free. So as I said um, currently available over at the have sim library uh, so registration is required if you do want to download it uh, but I'll pop a link in the description down below uh, but otherwise we may see it on other freeware sites other walls but as I said head over there grab it give it a try if you like it especially if you like that sort of era of aviation that I do it's available now for free all right, moving on with other releases for the FSX and ESP world this week. Uh, we saw a release, the guys over at RF uh, Scenery Building. So uh, the Russian guys have continued their Italian releases uh, this week. Um, but this one, this one releasing the uh, An Ancona Fal Falconara Airport. Um, so it's uh, it's an airport that serves uh, the uh, uh, the city of Ancona uh, in the Marcia region of central Italy. And is a fairly you know fairly busy airport. It's got you know a fairly uh, large bit of amount of movement coming through there. Um, and look, the RFSB guys, you I've really you know I've, as I said I've been reporting. I've been doing the Nova app now for three years, and I've really seen their their releases come up on a fairly regular basis. And I'm really seeing a progression in the quality of their add-ons. But what's even better is I'm not seeing an inflated price that goes with it. So, you know, their their quality is still is rock solid. Um, you know, it's it's sometimes not the not the best, but it's definitely not the worst that's out there in the payware market. Um, and this one is no exception. This one is looking absolutely incredible. The the ground textures that are here that are featured here from the screenshots I'm seeing are absolutely to die for. They really are. They've got a lot of uh, efforts gone into actually modelling the airport as it appears at the end of 2016. Uh, fully compatible with uh, F6 and P3D, um, including dynamic uh, glass reflection on buildings um, if you are a user of Lockheed Martin's prepared 3D version 3, which is a, a real big thing and a really pretty cool as well. Uh, fully compatible with uh, standard um, uh, terrain mesh and surrounded standard land, land class, but also compatible with Orbex's uh, FTX Global OpenLC Europe as well if you do have that. Uh, automatic change of season, so no having to go in through a thing to actually uh, customize the ground textures, automatically changes for you there. 
Um, fully compatible with a right, wide range of meshes as well. High HD um, uh, scenery textures throughout. Um, beautiful custom lighting throughout this one and uh, both on the runway and on the uh, taxiway and mast lighting and uh, some beautiful looking just detail in the airport and uh, customized land class for the area and uh, a few local points of interest rate as well. As I said, looking pretty damn amazing, looking nice and as I said, the RFSB guys have really always just it, it just impressed me with their you know inc just slowly but sure improvement of the quality of their products and as I said, this one is no exception. So if you're looking for a new little uh, destination to fly to in Italy, probably not a bad one for you to pick up. Uh, coming in for around about $20, uh, $20 um, available now. Currently available only at the Flight Sim store. Um, we possibly will see it on another Flight Sim uh, retailer soon. But yeah, currently available over at the Flight Sim store available now. All right, moving out of the flight sim world and moving into the, uh, well, sorry, moving out of the F FSX and ESP world and moving into the X-Plane world. Uh, this week we saw the reboot of uh, an airport for X-Plane, for the uh, an update of an airport for X-Plane 10 into X-Plane 11. We saw the release of uh, Aerosoft's uh, Zurich Airport with their version 2. Now, what is interesting about this is that, uh, so this is version 2, as I said, well, this is, it, this is version 2, um, so this is the facilities as it sees at the the end of uh, 2015, start of 2016. Uh, updated to um, uh, 2048 uh, high definition, high resolution textures as well. Um, full detail with all the airport buildings, everything as it appears as the airport at that time. Updated taxiways positions um, for parking and taxiing um, to suit aircraft all the way up to the Airbus A380. Um, whole heap of uh, new, uh, and so they said all the new terminal uh, to rebuilt, uh, the new rebuild of the terminal two. Um, Jet engine test site is now featured and included as well, which is really awesome. And again, a nice little detail I like to see in airports for this one. Um, complete of some updates for this. Now, here's the interesting part. Now, this has been released by Aerosoft on Steam for X Plane 11. Now, on the Aerosoft website, they're still pitching version 1. They haven't updated this to version 2 yet. So, it's kind of interesting. Um, the description on Steam hints that it is updated to and would, you know, it is a, the version 2 update um, would be also be compatible with X-Plane 10. Um, but again, if you're an X-Plane 10 user, you don't have this option. You still got the old version, not version 2, available from Aerosol's website. And Steam Edition is only compatible with X-Plane 11. Um, now this plays into a, a thing that I brought up in last week's Nova app, um, and I'm still waiting for a reply from Aerosoft regarding their position on this, about um, this this potential disparity we're going to see between um, you know different versions of, of X-Plane at the moment, um, but possibly other sims in the future, when you buy a piece of DLC, uh, and uh, when you buy an add-on, uh, whether it be an airport or an aeroplane, and you buy it for one sim, are you going to be able to use it on another sim that it is fully compatible with, but because you bought it on Steam, it's locked to one particular sim. Um, so yeah, unfortunately it looks like at the moment uh, this is a Steam exclusive, at least for a, a period of time, um, and then we'll be moving and perhaps we will see it released on the Aerosol's website, um, perhaps we will see it um, compatible, backwards compatible with X-Plane 10, I'm not sure. Uh, but as I said, at the moment it's still, uh, I'm still waiting to hear from Aerosoft, I haven't heard from them yet, um, I hope. I was hoping to have heard from them within the last week, but I haven't. I'll send them another email. Um, but yeah, as I said, it just puts a... a it, it just... It, it, it is a point of concern that I have. But anyway, in the meantime, if you are an X-Plane 11 Steam Edition user and you do want to add this to your collection, uh, it is available for 30 US dollars from Steam. Available now. Alrighty, and rounding out a fairly, sh fairly, um, fairly sh short week in terms of releases. Um, look, this is a an interesting release. I, I'm almost, I was almost hesitant to include this because it's not a a simulate. It is a simulation title, but it's not a simulation in perhaps the way we might be traditionally expecting. So this is a title called Everything. Now, I've heard about this around the grapevine a few times. Um, over the last about 18 months or so, and I actually didn't think it was coming to PC. I actually thought it was going to be a console exclusive, so I wasn't really going to, wasn't really too focused on it. But then it popped up, and and it became available, um, became available for PlayStation 4 uh, about three weeks ago. 
and is now launched on PC. Everything is a a well it, in its it's 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 an experience title is what it is. But here's the thing about it: it may see on the surface it may look silly, it may may look clay, it may look crazy and a bit stupid, but it talks about a lot of things and the, the a lot of a lot of what's within the title a lot of things that you'll hear while listening to the title um, will be uh, 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 lectures and, and, and discussions and talks um, by a philosopher uh, named Alan Watts and he's a philosopher who who I've studied some of his teachings and um, some of his teachings some of his discussion points some of the things that he he's spoken about and he, he lectured on um, and I find him very interesting because he, it's and everything sort of seems to surmise that is it's all about different perspectives. You can you can adapt from being a tiny microbe um, all the way up to you can be a tiny microbe um, through to being a plant, through to being a virus, through to being a, you know, a, a a mountain, to be an island, to be a a galaxy, and and back again. And look, the graphics are, are fairly cartoonish, uh, cartoonesque. But the, and this isn't a sim if you want something realistic. It's not. This is a sim if for the for if you want to think and look at and maybe want to challenge your perspective on the world, and maybe want to look at considering new perspectives on on where on uh, on our place in the universe on 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 the world really. And yeah, I, I I wanted to I wanted to put this in just to simply. Give you guys something, maybe something different to think about. Um, I look, I would highly encourage you as well if you do pick this up, um, pick it up with the soundtrack. Um, the the soundtrack um, is composed by Ben Lucas Boyson, who did the soundtrack for Gravity, um, and a whole heap of um, additional sounds by Eduardo Ortiz Frau, who did the Stanley Parable. Um, and yeah, it's it's a really fascinating title that doesn't have a purpose it's its purpose is what you want it to be and and kind of that's what i like about simulation is that simulation can be whatever whatever we want to want it to be you know there's people will say it oh it has to be this it has to be that but you know what simulation is about what you want it to be it's about what you want to get out of it and that's why i like you know open world and i like simulation titles because that's exactly what it is for me and this is a title that very much is will get you thinking um and considering points of view that you may not have thought about before. So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Anyway, that's that's my two cents worth. So, yes, uh, as I said, available now um, on Steam. Um, available now coming in uh, at $15 US or your original equivalent, um, or bundled with the soundtrack um, for $22. Um, so, yeah, I, as I said, just, just I, I'm not going to either say go get it or don't, but I'm just going to say think about it. Just have a look at it. Have a look at the trailers. See what you think. Hmm. There you go. Anyway, all right. Well, as I said, that does now round out the Nova Rat for this week. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Safe skies to all. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.